This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Volleyball presentation is brought to you by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Two sets. That's my tennis background. Cadillac Vikings with the lead over the Gaylord Blue Devils. Game three about to get underway. Both teams already on the floor. There's a good 40 seconds still on the clock between games. And uh, neither team cares to utilize it. <laughs> they are out there ready to go. Jay Simon alongside Acacia Holmes. Captain Dakota Pike running the show from the truck for us. Wyatt Van Dynan, Rain Johnson Hill, Jake Nolf, JP Creed on the cameras. As Mary Kate Taylor start things off. Here's Bailey for the Blue Devils utilizing the tape. That takes years of practice. Wonder if teams practice that. I would think that you would practice. I know that we always talked about making sure that defensively you stopped moving as the swing started. Right? Yes. Because you didn't want to be backing up. That's right. As the ball was driven. Speaking of driven, Cordy with a huge shot dug by Ellens. Cordy now using the tool, gets it off the block and gets Gaylord the point. But man, Cordy, the Christensen-like arm swing there in the that middle. That was a slam. That is a battle between these two big middle hitters. Jarski back to serve. Finch will send it outside for Christensen. Has to chase it down a bit, but makes a nice swing. A little off speed for her. Finds the floor. But you didn't want to be you didn't want to be moving as the ball was hit, because then if the ball does hit the tape, you're set and you have you can move forward that's to go get it, right? That's correct, yep. Tip there by Liz Piles, seeing some action up front. Piles and Christensen get a piece of that one. There's a nice one-handed set by Allie Finch. Great pump set there. And that's her right hand. She's a lefty. That's impressive. I can't do anything with my left hand. It's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex left. You know, short and stubby. And <laughs> <laughs> Not at it, too. Adam, the libero with the kill from the back row. People may not know, Acacia, that the libero can attack a ball from the back row as long as what? What's, what is that rule? They have to stay behind the 10-foot line. And below the top of the tape, is it? Correct. Contact? Yep. Most liberos, at least at the high school level, it's not usually an issue. They're usually short enough to where they're not going to make contact above the tape, even if they leave their feet, as Christensen takes that quick from Finch. So the Christensen-Finch connection working well right now. Kohani with a serve in front of Bailey, unable to get to it. Vikings take their first lead of the game, four to three here in the third. Another short serve from Kohani. Gaylord's playing really deep, so that's a good spot to serve it to. Moving up a little bit now. Kohani sends that one a little deeper, dug up by Beach now. And Piles with the big swing, dug up by Karski then. Excuse me, Jarski. Christensen will send over, I don't even know what you call that, the palm shot. <laughs> that was a nice save by Finch. That ball was just about over. She pulled it back in. Beach now send over the free ball. Kohani will have to send over a free ball herself. Outside for Beach now. Dug up by Taylor. Finch chases it down. Kapazinski with the drive off the block. It's a great big swing there. I haven't mentioned Gabby Kapazinski's name too often at 5'9". Normally she'd be a pretty good sized outside hitter, just not on this team. Middle for Corte and all over Casey Cordy. You know in that situation that they want to get her a swing. 
And they are making sure that there are two Vikings ready to put up a block. 8-3 Cadillac. There's another free ball. Finch outside for Kapazinski with the drive. Man, she's got a nice approach. Really leads with that elbow. She drives through Really pretty, thing. yeah. Floating through the air. Kohani has run off six straight points. Beach now blocked but out of bounds. And it will be back to the Blue Devils. So they stop the freshman Kohani's run. Cordy with a tough serve. Taylor gets it up. Christensen will have to send over the free ball. Jarski outside for Beach now. Roll shot to Finch. Back for Piles. Blocked. Cordy and Beach now with the double block. This is a decent rotation for the Blue Devils if you. Except I think Christensen was front row. So now Christensen will go to the back. So this is a decent rotation, I think, potentially for the Blue Devils as Christensen and Kohani both in the back row, although Kapazinski is not anything you want to take lightly up front either. Christensen outside for Kapazinski. He'll roll it. Bailey with a nice pass. Into the middle for Hines, and she'll put it into the net. For Gaylord in their perfect role, they'd probably want Cordy in the front row when Christensen's in the back. Yep. No doubt about that. I think they get her for one rotation in that situation. Back row for Cordy. Man, it's a great pipe shot. Dug up, though, by Finch. Kapazinski answering. Bailey with the dig, but sends it into the bench. Bailey doing a nice job, Acacia, of reading that defensively. She's in the right spot, just she not is, able yep. to control it. Beach now. Finch with the dig. Kapazinski will have to send the free ball. Quick for Hines, and she executes. Deep corner, that's, that's where you want to hit it. Twelve six Cadillac with the lead here in the third set, trying to close this one out. Finch the quick to Bonesire, dug up outside for Beach now, off the tool and down for the kill for the junior Abby Beach now. Normally sets in a six two offense along with Jarski and plays opposite, thrust into the role of outside hitter tonight because of. Injury and personnel issues for the Blue Devils. Finch finds Bonesire, dug up. Blue Devils scrambling, but they get it over. Outside for Kapazinski, who has to chase it. Another save by the Blue Devils. Kapazinski with another chance, and this time she drives it off of Bailey. She's getting some great sets tonight. Seems to be right in her sweet spot. Yeah, Kapazinski's one of those young ladies that likes a nice long approach. A lot of girls will take kind of a, a quick three-step approach that's not real long. Kapazinski goes back into Misaki County to approach. She's pretty far out there. And as we get a block by the Vikings, gives them a 14-7 lead, and head coach Jamie Seal wants the timeout. 14-7 in this game, Vikings with a... Two to nothing set lead, trying to close it out in three. Big North Conference volleyball action for you. Game match number two of a five match series that we have for you, all coming to you from Cadillac High School. Next up on the schedule, September 28th, Cadillac will play host to the Alpena Wildcats. And then we'll have for you on October 17th, Petoskey will make the trip down here. And then we'll get a look at the Traverse City Central Trojans on October 26th. We've also, as mentioned, we've got Alpena Wildcat football at Cadillac this Friday. All of these will air at 10 p.m. on those initial dates. Make sure you check out cctv-cadillac.org for the latest schedule to find these replays. 
And then we've also got Gaylord at Cadillac on September 30th, football and TC Central on October 21st. Christensen out of the back row. Dug up nicely. Jarski, put away, won't go. Finch finds the opening. Gaylord seems to be leaving that open quite a bit for Cadillac. Who do you think's responsibility that is to be looking for that? Is that right back, typically? Typically. Depending on where the hit's coming from, maybe. Yeah. Beach now finds the opening. I've always been under the impression, and the way I always taught it, was that base defense for right back and left back was just behind that 10-foot line, and so you should have two players reasonably close watching for that. Right. They shouldn't be shifting until the set goes up. Maybe the Blue Devils a little far back. I don't know. I'd have to see the TV replay. I'll be sure to watch that yes, on Saturday. <laughs> or you could just watch YouTube tonight. There you go. You don't Vikings, have to wait. Vikings with another point. They go up 17-7. to seven. Piles back to serve. Jarski outside for Beach now. Rolling it. Piles with the dig. And nice, nice save, save by Taylor. Back to Beach now again. Dug by Taylor. Finch for Kapazinski. Down the line is good. She'd gone angle, 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 angle. This time she turns it. Hitting all the corners. I think Gabby Kapazinski heard me say that, you know, at 5'9", you know, she's not as big as the other hitters. She's like, I'll show you, Simon. She can get off the floor, that's for sure. Another free ball opportunity for the Vikings. Finch. Kapazinski will have to send that one over on a tip. Jarski trying to find an open area. Kapazinski this time powers one. Dug up nicely again by Bailey. Back row attack from Cordy. Dug by Piles. Christensen with the down ball. Dug by Cordy. Beach now. Christensen with another dig. Great point here. Kapazinski dug by Bailey. This is going to be tough. Piles is not going to be able to chase this. That hit two. Hit the overhead structure twice. Those are tough to play off of. Yep. Great point, though, by both teams. Some great digs because there were, unlike an earlier long point we talked about where there was really no swings, that was a good swing almost every time. Both teams are setting the ball up each time. There's an overpass and an opportunity for the Blue Devils. Bailey on the outside. Blocked. Dug up. Saved. Finch for Kapazinski. <laughs> and there's a lot of syrup on that waffle, but it finds the floor. The big swing, nothing but fingers, the off-speed pitch, but it's a kill in the books no matter how you look at it. She's so fired up, big set. Bonesire can't put it down. Christensen out of the back row, pulverizes one. Cadillac's fired up after that one. Kapazinski, another low, <laughs> thunderous serve, and Panazzo unable to chase it down. Good effort by the junior. We're going to get a second timeout by the Blue Devils, 21 to 8. Acacia, I really want to give Jordan Ellens credit in that play. That's a really, really tough pass. When you're the right back defender and you're almost on top of the 10 foot line and you're trying to get low enough and flat enough to get that pass up for your setter who's standing basically 18 inches in front of you. Yep. That is tough to do. You definitely have to be low and ready. Cadillac Crazies doing their thing. I think some of these kids should consider dressing like this more often. I see uh, Noah Zdradowski standing out in the middle. That bow tie looks good on you, Noah. Nice dig by Ellens again. Kohani was looking for that. Looked like she was looking for that inside set in that three zone there. Yep, she was a little early on that one. Finch sent it outside. Adam, tough serve, nice dig by Allens. Kohani on the outside, blocked. And Christensen unable to get to the coverage. Two. 
Overpass. Cordy blocked by Finch. She'll get another chance. Roll shot dug by Christensen. Finch with the tip. Another nice save by the Blue Devils. Allie Finch says, that was a great save. Here, let me deposit this into the back of your court. Taylor does not seem to be giving up very easily. They're scrapping for every loose ball they can get their hands on. 22 to 10, Vikings with the lead. Jarski. Cordy, that was an angry swing. She wants a touch, and nobody saw it. She's looking at the down ref, asking. I think being told, I got to see the touch. I can't hear the touch. Right. Jarski has to send that over, but Christensen got it up in the air, but nobody home. Jarski back to serve. Outside for Christensen. Boom indeed, Cadillac Crazies. One point from moving to 2-0 and in the Big North are the Vikings. As Liz Piles checks back in. Allie Finch will try to close it out. Nice and spot. she does. The jump float ace from Allie Finch. Ends this one in three straight. 25, 15, 25, 17, 25, 11. Cadillac Vikings with the 3-0 victory. They move to 2-0 in conference play. The Blue Devils fall to 0-2. We will take a moment, collect our thoughts, and be back with some post-game analysis. Want to make sure we thank Cadillac Casting, Pack Mail, Bigelow Supply, Doug Lass, High Point Auto, Cadillac Tire, Pizza Plus, Bowman and Rogers, Crystal Flash, Vickery Financial, and LC Materials in the Concrete Store, formerly LC Ready Mix, for their support of Big North Conference Volleyball and all the athletics here on 26 Sports and CCTV. Don't go anywhere. Post-game wrap-up coming up in just a moment. <laughs> 